This is the third video in the Finding the Area of Complex Shapes. So I'm going to write on here part three. Hopefully you have watched the first two videos. Uh, we're working with dimensions or side lengths of, con of complex shapes and breaking the complex shapes up into easier parts to work with. Now this one right off the bat is going to be a puzzler, but I want to expose you to it because you might come across problems like this where you're going to have to understand the properties and the rules of um, geometric shapes in order to find areas of complex figures. So, like I've said in the other two videos, take a deep breath. I'm going to have you copy this shape and the dimensions or the side lengths in your math notebook. So pause the video now so you can do that. Alright, so by now you have this shape drawn in your notebook as best as you can with your dimensions labeled. It's important to make sure you have those dimensions labeled as accurate as you possibly can, okay? So the first thing we have to ask ourselves is how can we break this complex shape into pieces that we can work with to find the area? So there's a couple of ways that you could do this. I am actually going to take my pen and make a rectangle here. And then I'm also going to slice off the triangle and make a second rectangle above it. Okay, so let's start with what we know. Let's first look for the area of our rectangle on the right-hand side. We know that area is base times height. I'm going to zoom in a bit over here. Okay. So we know the base of our shape is going to be, it's given to us, it's 2 meters. That's this dimension or this side length right there. So we're off to a good start. So we have area is equal to 2 meters. And now we need to know the height. And notice that we have a 3 here, but that stops at this vertex. So um, that is not the entire side length that we need. We actually need the entire height of our rectangle. So this is what we need to be careful with. So that's right here. And that value is 5. So we're going to do our multiplication and our area of this rectangle. One piece of our complex shape is 10 meters squared. Perfect. Let's move on to our next one. Let's focus on maybe our rectangle on the side now. So once again, our formula is area is equal to base times height. We know the base. It's already given to us. It's right here. So from this vertex this vertex it's four meters so we're off to a good start not too much of a puzzler so far hopefully and now we need to know the heights okay so we either need to know this dimension here or this dimension here because we know rules of parallelograms tell us that opposite sides are equal to each other okay but we don't have anything given for that so this is where it becomes a little bit of a puzzle what we do know is this entire side length right here is five meters. And how do we know that? We know that because this side length is five meters and equal and opposite sides, okay, for parallelograms. So if one side is five meters, the other side is going to be five meters. Now that's all fine and dandy you're saying, but we still need to figure out this piece. Well, if this entire thing is, entire thing is five meters, and this piece right here is 3 meters, we can do some subtraction. And we know that 5 meters minus 3 meters will give us 2 meters. So this piece right here, what we're looking for is 2 meters. 2 meters plus 3 meters gives us 5 meters. Okay, so we're back in the game. Finish up. 4 meters times 2 meters is 8 meters squared. All right, let's go find our last chunk. So we're working on our triangle now. And I'm going to zoom in so that we can write our area. Area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. And so first we need the base. And our base is right here. And it's not given to us, ah, but indeed it is, because we're using our properties of parallelograms, and we know that opposite sides of parallelograms 
are equal to each other. And since we know that this dimension of our rectangle right here is 4 meters, that means that this is also going to be 4 meters, okay? So 4 meters right there. So let's hop back down here. Now let's find our height. So once again, we're given a little bit of a puzzler. This entire thing right here, this entire dimension is 5 meters. This is not 5 meters, but this entire dimension is 5 meters. We only need this piece for our height. Looking back, because all of our shapes are connected somehow, we see that this part of our rectangle, this side is 2 meters, and we know that opposite sides are equal to each other. So if that side is 2 meters, that means that this piece over here is going to be 2 meters. Sorry, I'll change the color on that. Okay? Now, if that part right here is 2 meters, that's fine, but we still need to figure out what this is down below. Okay? Well, let's do some subtraction. We know that this entire side here was 2 meters, or 5 meters, so now we're just going to subtract what we know, which is 2 meters. And 5 minus 2 meters will be 3 meters. So 3 meters plus 2 meters gives us 5 meters. So our area is 6 meters squared. Okay, we're not done yet though. Remember, we need to add all of our pieces together. So we have 10 meters squared. We got that. 8 meters squared. And 6 meters squared. Add them all together, and our area for this complex shape is 24 meters square.